Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. Looking at the US 30, it came off quite aggressively overnight as that stronger US dollar began to bite into uh, people's risk appetite for equities. Um, people pulling money out of um, uh, the US and beginning to look for other areas to, to stick it just now. And certainly breaking below 17,738, that was a uh, potential support level. It's now been broken. We're trading below both moving averages now. MACD close to cost in the zero line, while the other two technicals, the RSI and the slow stochastic, still have a little bit further to go. The 17,546 being the next potential support. We've already had a retracement uh, back up this morning uh, towards 17,738. Uh, if we actually look at that on, let's have a look at the uh, an early time frame, you can see it's already gone up to then move right back down again. That If it does head up higher, that will also coincide that 21 period SMA as well. So the UK 100, this chart looks absolutely horrendous. That is a horrible, um, <laughs> horrible, horrible candle. Uh, breaking below 67.71, almost broke through 66.86. Broken below both moving averages. MACD's about across the zero line. The other technicals still have a lot of room further to go for maneuver. This is one of the worst <coughs> down days I, I can see since mid-October, certainly. Well, maybe maybe December, incidentally. Very bad day, down over 2% uh, as the markets react to that very high possibility of an early rate hike in the US and what that means for everyone else. Um, could be short-term uh, pain for longer-term benefit, though. Um, moving on to Japan, 25 with the dollar-yen, around about 121, spot 28. Um, Japan 225 having a very volatile session trying to break above 18.648 this morning uh, only to trade below that today also coincides with the 21 period SMA um, now eyeing up uh, 18,306 so looking at dollar yen the dollar is certainly advancing across the board against the uh, sterling especially against the euro dollar where it actually broke uh, was down at 106.84 right now, but I think 106.60 has been its, uh, its low, so getting closer and closer to parity as uh, that momentum keeps on building for the green back there. And certainly with dollar yen, um, we had a doji formation yesterday. We're still moving up to the positive momentum today, so we're in positive territory. 128.87 is a potential resistance to, to beat as and get a close above that. It's not done it yet, but certainly it could do the next couple of sessions. Lots of economic data due on Thursday. So if we have a look at West Texas crude, uh, still resonating around about $50. Uh, we've done about 3.6 yesterday. It's up, it was up a little touch today. Not much else to report there for now. Moving on to gold, which has really struggled the last couple of days. Again, another down day yesterday. It was down a lot lower, so it's off the session lows. It's tried to uh, move a little bit higher this morning as the, uh, the dollar is going to pull back slightly against some of the other FX pairs after moving um, relatively aggressively the last couple of days. Uh, we are in the middle of two ranges, 11.86 being potential resistance and 11.37 being potential support. Other technicals, uh, nothing happening with the MACD. The RSI is certainly oversold but not yet reversal signal given and the slow stochastic there has not yet gone to oversold territory. So gold still got further to go from a technical perspective. The fundamentals back that up. And then finishing off with uh, your dollar and cable, you can see the technical breakout on your dollar. Uh, one spot zero two twenty three is next potential support. Any reversal might meet a cap at one spot zero seven eighty six, uh, and we're miles away from the other technical indicators. And um, this chart obviously speaks for itself. And the trend being one direction. Finishing up with GBP USD, and um, if we have a look at that in the chart, um, it's it, we had a bearish golfing pattern yesterday. Um, but it's not followed through with a negative move this morning. One spot 5185 is next potential resistance. One spot 8413 is potential support. Your dollar uh, and uh, dollar yen is play for more of the action is right now. If you get re <coughs> if we get a man manage to get reversal back up to one spot 5185, <coughs> people might look at that a little bit more. So, <coughs> in regards to the economic data. We've already had some uh, some Chinese data due today. We've got crude oil inventories at 2.30 because of the time difference. Fast forwarding on Thursday, this is when most of the data actually is, is due. You've got German CPI, uh, you've got Eurozone industrial production, employment data, unemployment claims and retail sales in the US. So it's all about uh, Thursday. As ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your late going forward and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.